so it's always uh, been told that uh, if you are studying for an exam like JE paper like so so you have to uh, know about the examination right so you have to know about the JE examination with respect to different categories uh, so you may uh, follow different uh, sources like uh, previous year questions your um, friends your mentors teachers and the internet also so you'll be uh, outsourcing no, reaching out to different sources for understanding an examination right so how was your approach like I know you have uh, done this examination uh, tour uh, more than two times, right? So how was your approach, how to know about the examination, like how, uh, what are the things that you have to learn, like uh, what are the things I should be aware about the examination? How can you do that? Yeah, my first attempt was on 2020. And I already said that I don't interest, I reason I don't like to attempt JE. It's just for, an, you know, so uh, I just, I go through the all max topics, you know, the whole, the, maybe 21 chapters. I, when I'm preparing for max, I go through all. And I try, I try to attempt more than 15 or 60 questions. Huh? But just, uh, I tried to attempt, but I didn't mark, or I only attempted three or two, just mark as a review. For, uh, but I totally wasted my half an one hour and one and a half hour for that. Huh? Oh. So, I, I, for another main reason, I don't have any strategy. I go through previous year question. Hmm. Yeah, because they never think where they will give some mock text or something. So, I go through the previous year also. But the main reason, most of the students have the main reason, they don't have any strategy. So, if you are sure, if I'm, just, I'm saying that, if you are for mathematics, if you attempted two questions, the, and also in APT, if you score more than 170, then if you are good in drawing, I'm sure you will get 99% okay. huh? percentage. So that's a strategy. Hmm. So I have to follow that. So when comparing to the previous attempt, I realized that I only want to focus on only four, five or six chap chapters on max. Then comparing to previous year questions, max is always hard. Hmm. Huh? So there's no difference in their patterns. Yeah, then comparing to the first session on February session, the February session was very simple, mm. but the last se second session was very hard comparing the mathematics. But in each and every year, they were asking so uh, very hard questions. So there's no change in the pattern for max. But for the aptitude session, the uh, non-verbal reasonings are it's always the uh, same as the previous year. So we just need to. Uh, practice it. So the main reason when I go through the previous year questions was to manage to the time management. Okay. So uh, the questions maybe I don't even remember how many questions are asked for non-verbal, but uh, just in in, in NTA official side there's previous year questions for paper mm -hmm. two. Yeah. So I just go through the previous non-verbal. So mirror images projection. Okay. It's anyone can do because it's very simple, yeah. simple topic. But the with the need is we have to complete it on time. Mm. So the time management. So that's the main reason I'm going through previous year aptitude non-verbal questions. Mm. Then comparing to uh, verb uh, aptitude uh, awareness uh, from 2018 and triply to 2020, they're asking the repeated questions. Okay. Maybe mm. one or two questions will be uh, different. Uh, maybe some general awareness like but each and every year they're asking some repeated questions again and again some some sound insulating material like mm -hmm. so who got architecture prize in 2018 Prisca yeah. prize then uh, where is who's the architect of uh, Taj Mahal so like that this previous a question they're repeating but when come to 2021 they'll only ask a one or two question aptitude i mean architecture awareness question from previous year okay so it's very hard to all of us because we were following that we were preparing for all of them were preparing for the previous questions and we know we know we only have to focus on max okay because the aptitude the, the non verbal is simple and the gk is we can go through a 300 or 400 previous year gk questions i mean previous year from 2008 to 2019 so it's very simple to all of us. 
but now it's a task because they were only asking one yeah in previous year in 2020 when they were asked the question who who's the architect of victoria memorial i guess okay that's the previous year question okay but uh the after that other questions was really different they are adding new questions and also are gk questions so many gk questions and also the match the following but match the following is uh, it's really helpful to sc- score because if you know two two or three monuments there was four monuments which match the, the the name or the place if you know two two then automatically it will be correct there's there is a sequence with the option a1 a2 like that so yeah. when you know two monuments that will be easier so that's a good thing for match the following but the rest of the questions of gk questions are gk questions i didn't attempt any gk question yeah only some but it's very hard it's it's not possible to go through all the current affairs and you know so i just focused on i go yeah i go through all previous year questions previous year aptitude but uh the most of the questions based on arc awareness building materials some who's architects then the the architect who's born in where or something so I like that it's very simple questions but the gk i didn't go through because i'm sure i'm not going to attempt and i can't do it so i just leave it the gk general i mean not, not gk the current affairs huh? and also some general that doesn't that didn't related to architecture so i mean only focus on architectural aptitude i mean architectural awareness so um, if i say so uh, can you predict uh, the questions for the next j questions like you have told like uh, so 2020 and 2021 was very different right with respect to the drawing also it was very different so uh, i think we can expect uh, to be more uh, difficult than 2021 because more and more competition is coming in pouring in so can you predict some of the questions so if you can suggest uh, some of the if you are some of the aspirants may be looking for that that also like uh, the drawing questions and um, aptitude question aptitude question i am not uh, thinking that it will be having much difference but in gk and our arc awareness there will be some differences right so will uh, it be it will be the same as 2021 or are you expecting it to be more uh, difficult yeah maybe same as because they are starting a new pattern so they are not going to change it very soon so uh, when the aptitude questions may be different i mean that we don't have to expect they are asking the same the previous a questions maybe one or two okay yeah. so we can go through the previous a questions also but we have to do it by ourselves we have to figure it out we have to learn by ourselves going through some uh, website or something so my preparation i just when comparing to february session and i take each and every questions so the first question will be based on some forts then i go through the whole fort so mm-hmm. forts in india so more than it's very hard so more than 100 or maybe more than 100 forts so i go through this each fort then there is that the question will be based on materials so then i go through the material so sound insulating or maybe uh, something building materials like, like that okay. so the previous a course so maybe in there will be very hard question there may be asked very hard questions for drawing i am saying that we have just the copy paste questions but we have to go through some uh, actually some famous artist works just like mona lisa or something okay. because they are not going to ask but we have to learn how to add the texture how to add the proportion hmm. so that's the thing so drawing questions will be always i think it will be very hard Okay. because the perspective drawings also may be asked and composition also but uh, you know previously on uh, 2021 when comparing to 22 the comp- they are always asking composition question so we have to make some composition with the triangle rectangle or anything but on 2012 the second session question was we have to make a co- they didn't uh, give that directly to make a composition but they were saying they designing a tile for a metro station i guess yeah something but we have to figure out that's a composition okay. and it's that question the way of asking the we yeah. have to attempt the way the way of asking is very different when comparing to previous year okay. so i think we have to figure out by ourselves it's a composition question and we have to attempt in that way but i just leave it because i didn't figure out what they are asking so i don't understand so the pattern and the question will be more harder because 
the applicants i mean day by day it is increasing you know year by year it's very hard so the drawing questions not be very simple it's very hard maybe then one of the main thing we have to focus on forms i mean 3d form try to draw 3d forms like using perspective or without perspective then composition using color pencils then perspective drawing maybe 1 point 2 point 3 point and 5 point also then uh, improve copy pasting skills okay uh, like uh, when maybe you can go through some uh, websites and take some uh, pictures that done by some fam- famous architect or uh, artist some pencil renderings also and this is really help you all of us so that's a thing then compare for yeah non verbal it's very simple we don't have to focus much but for apti we have to go through the each and every session i mean building materials there are lot lot of things yeah. then uh, architects also in previous so one year they asked uh, the frango in gehari is he's born in where something like that so maybe the questions are we don't expect we don't have to expect is very simple we have to focus more on that and i don't think it will be easier we have to work much more for this apt and drawing session because it's very hard but already the mathematics session is always hard we already know that but now the aptitude and drawing session is also hard comparing to 2020 or 19 paper 21 is very hard cuz they were prepared very hard so we have to focus more on drawing and more on apt session okay so that's it okay so that was uh, very informative uh, how to deal with the question paper so now if i shift the uh, tone into uh, covid 19 pandemic so uh, you i think you have uh, you told me the story how did it affect your life very uh, badly right so uh, it also affects the study patterns right how you deal with the studies and you're not able to go to offline classes always looking at the screens so it also affects the study pattern and even the time management will be affected by this kind of learning right so usage of social media will be uh, increased and uh, everything will uh, will be shifted right the way we were doing things is actually changing so how did you deal with this covid 19 pandemic and how did your study pattern changed and how did you adapted with it so you got a good mark how did you do that to be honest uh, covid 19 is a blessing for me okay so uh, yeah, uh, yeah i'm completed my 12th on 2019 so that's offline mode okay so the thing uh, matter with that covid 19 then yeah yeah my yeah i leave think on 2020 march then the pandemic begins yeah it's re- it was so hectic you know because the one of the main reason they j- they were change the pattern for nata was the co- this covid yeah. so i was hoping for good marks and i was hoping to get a uh, good college in that year so i wasted i am not saying that i'm wasted uh, that year but i can realize something the so covid 19 was good for me because i can realize something and i can do uh, i did well in j because always j is a hard for me because i i, I don't even expect that i can did well or i uh, yeah i i want to get a 99.1 no 2 percentile i want to study in na or calculator or anything because i only expect that but i prepare well for that for while preparing the one year i didn't get any college then i think for only two months i'm not i'm not going to get any good college because only limited period of time i'm not sure so i'm worried about that so this pandemic period it's really helped me because i it's really helped me to improve my skill because i'm really good in arts and i'm really uh, good in painting also so at that time we are locked in our rooms and we can go out so just i tried to improve my skills myself and i'm also active in social media so that's also increased use of that social media has also increased but i'm i'm saying that it's a blessing for me because it really helped me so on the when going back to two years the uh, one year my was my preparations then the sec- uh, the second uh, year was for uh, i preparing for go for uk 
But yeah. the bad thing is, it's really affect me. The COVID again affect me. But uh, that's affected. That's that's a good effect, you know. Okay. Uh, when when I when I can't go to the UK, but I got a stay Delhi. So that's a great thing for me, you know. Okay. So it doesn't matter with what I did before. Uh, but now I'm very happy because that COVID, the rain, rain reason, the COVID nineteen. is the reason why i'm in spd delhi okay so yeah it's not a bad thing it's a blessing for me okay so everything happens for good right so, yeah 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 that's so as you have told me about the uh, usage of social media i'm curious about that because uh, uh, this nowadays students especially at your age categories we call him millennials right so uh, those students actually tend to use more social media instagram whatsapp anything you can say so uh, asking about your revision also uh, how did you deal with that social media conception in the last week i'm particularly asking about the last week prior to the exam okay so did you completely cut off from the social media or did you uh, do uh, Uh, followed it or how was your strategy in the last week because last week is the very crucial time right very crucial time so how did you deal with that and the revision how did you do that yeah i because i can't cut out the social media because i'm i'm getting used to it and it's not possible you know but yeah i use in uh, uh, yeah most of the time i use instagram so it doesn't matter with my preparation because it's just for my uh, relax for relaxation or something like that going through some reels or something but it doesn't make any changes with my preparation it's, it don't have to because uh, i focus on my studies but i have to focus on my i have to uh, interact with my friends also so uh, i think it's they don't have any effect on my studies uh, but i use social media i didn't shut down or i didn't log out from i didn't, I didn't delete any accounts okay it's you you were able to balance it right yeah very, very yeah i'm able to balance it okay. because i don't want to in an insta it or no no okay okay so very good so um so you're talking about the revision strategy and everything so uh lastly uh, before the exam uh, how did you what i can say so some students would say that in last hours like if tomorrow is exam i will not be doing nothing today and even even the revision works that means even the question paper revisions important topics i will not do anything i have if i, I have interviewed some some students and they have told me like that they will be doing nothing in the last day the penultimate day right so uh, you were like that or you were having some other techniques no no i am not like that yeah i am also always heard that when the last day of examination you don't have to go through the uh, lesson you don't learn new topics huh? yeah but according to me maybe that the last learning really helped me a lot okay because yeah. maybe that last yeah when i uh, attended that exam i got a yeah i got a point or last when i go through the last uh, last aptitude session or something okay. i uh, i got a something new then i also to learn within the time before uh, entering the exam center always i'm learning i'm not like that i'm lecturing the one day or uh, for enjoying that day no no i'm not like that uh, yeah i'm always hearing that you have to be calm and cool before the exam but i'm always tense and also i'm go through the each i brush up the each topics or something i'm always like that i'm not like that uh, for uh, the one day before the exam you have to be chill i'm not uh, i'm not like that okay so it's different for everyone right so it's yeah. depends on the person you are so okay so to wrap this up i will uh, like to know uh, what was our contribution okay you have told many thing about that also you can also mention that and you can also give some advices okay so the coming aspirants who are watching this video okay so what what will we give the what will be your advice to the coming aspirants to get on to spa delhi like that okay so what would be it yeah i have already said that i was also like i don't i don't get spa delhi or i don't get j it's not my way because nata it's very simple super cool thing and then i realized that j is not a rocket science huh? so 
it's very simple so first of all i'm always saying that if ever if i'm chatting with aspirants also i'm always saying that you have to make a strategy hmm. focus on your good and focus on your strength you know if you are good in drawing and acting you don't worry about max you are attempt 22 just for name so two questions so if you are good in max and apti then you don't worry about drawing and vice versa so uh, to be honest i'm saying strength you have to focus on your strength but uh, you have also focus on your weakness huh? so it's very simple then uh, to be yourself we have to learn more about exam yeah other than the topics Yeah. So what's the J? What's J mean paper two? So we have to first of all we have to know what's J. Yeah. So it's really help you all to crack J paper two. It's the first that that's the strategy. I only want to share that the strategy is to you know what the exam. There's something behind that. So if you are going through the whole papers and there's some tricks. I said that if you are attempting two max questions. And if you are getting more than 170 apt, and if you are good in drawing, I am sure you will get 99 percentage. And if you are good in max, if you are attempting 50 max question, if you are bad in apt and drawing, you will also good get good marks on JE paper two. So it's all about a strategy. Then focus on your good and focus on your strength. The only thing I have to share because I am the example for that. It doesn't matter one year you prepare one year or you prepare on two months. It doesn't matter. It's all up to you. Yeah, I'm I'm prepared for one year for that. The diary didn't crack anything. Then again, I prepared for only two months. Then I did it well because it's all about us. It's all up to you. So I'm again said that focus on our strength. It's all matters. Our strength. Okay. Okay. So that was a very good life lesson, right? So focus on the strength that you're having. Never give up. Give up. Like uh, even if it takes. some more time okay some more time you have to uh, live up to your expectation you have you no need to uh, these uh, standardize yourself right you have to set a goal like sp tell he then you have to crack it then make a goal for yourself and uh, try to do the hard work to achieve that particular goal right yeah okay. yeah sp tell he yeah that was my primary aim yeah because you know it's a it's an every aspirant dreaming for sp tell he yeah because you know it's very nice the when we are talking with our faculties and each of them were from uh, the former students from sp delhi where they were taking ug and pg from sp delhi and they were you know they are the faculties of sp delhi so that's a nice thing and each and the every faculties are super expert in each subjects so if you are looking uh, if you looking for if you are looking for an aspirant for architecture you have to join sp delhi but it's a top most top institute and i'm sure don't go for any other mostly i'm uh, saying that go for spas the yeah. three spas yes, yes. sp delhi bopal and vijayawada so according to other institutions the spas are most and also sept is also a good university but is according to nata but it's very hard i don't say i don't know what is about nata and then uh, according to je the top institute is sp delhi so if you are scoring more than 99 percentage i'm sure you will get so yeah that's it okay okay so very nice very uh, interactive right uh, so many things that we can learn from your uh, experience so thank you thank you uh, pranav once again uh, i'm i'm grateful you have spent this much time with us and i hope you will uh, you will be having a very good time at sp delhi and uh, i am assuming that it will be starting in the march right offline classes will be starting from march and uh, hope you will be doing good and uh, please keep in touch with us we will do some more interactive sessions like this uh, it will be more uh, useful for the upcoming aspirants for also okay thank you very much thank you yeah thank you so much for this opportunity i think institute thank you so much yeah